Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about a medium level problem from lead code. The problem name is subdomain visit count. So the problem statement goes like this, that a website domain is named as discuss.leadcode.com, which consists of various subdomains. At the top level, it has com, as you can see here. At the next level, it has leadcode.com. And at the top and the lowest level, it has discuss.leadcode.com. So as you can see here, wherever you find out a dot, okay, then before that, it consists of a particular domain. So .com, leadcode.com, discuss.leadcode.com. So whenever you find a dot, it separate out the, you can say a domain. Now what your main task is that you are given a count paired domain. A count pair domain means that you are given a string in which there is a particular number which is represented before, then there is a space, and then there is, you can say, a particular domain. Okay, now this count represents that how many times you have visited a particular domain. Now, when you are visiting a particular, you can say, let's give in a URL, then you will visit all its subdomain as well, and you count it as well. So let's take an example for this 9001 on discuss.leadcode.com so which means that you have visited .com leadcode.com and discuss.leadcode.com all 9001 time okay that is the whole idea here now you are given a list of count pair domains as you can see in the input which is named as cp domains count pair domains you have to return a new array in which you have to modify it and write down how many times each particular domain is visited and you have to just represent it in sort of an array. So let's take the first two examples to understand more of that what we have learned. So let's say that we have this as a string. Now this overall represents that I have visited com as you can see like dot, uh, you can see here uh, what is the output yeah com so just represent like don't put dot so com leadcode.com and discuss.leadcode.com all now 9001 times so as you can see in the output you have represented i have visited 9001 times leadcode.com 9001 times discuss.leadcode.com and 9001 com okay so all those subdomains as well everyone is visited this number of times let's take the next example in this what you can see here is that i have to make some sort of a map you can directly understand from here itself that in this you have to understand that i have visited com 900 times then i have visited mail.com again 900 times and google dot i'm just putting g google dot mail dot com okay this is google dot mail dot com again 900 times now let us move down to the next as you can see that now I have visited com again 50 times. So I have to append 50 to it. Now this is the yahoo.com to so yahoo.com 50 times. The next string com again one time. So I have to add one to it mail.com. So mail we have seen here that I have visited mail.com again. So it is nine times so plus one. So which means that I, I have traveled a previous subdomain I have to append the times we have iterated over it so this one is the value you have to add okay that's the whole idea of this iterate over all of these different you can say cp domains that you're given to and you just have to return this in the end that I have returned like I have iterated over com this number of time mail.com this number of time gmail.mail.com at this number of time yahoo.com at this number of time and so on in the output Okay, so it's pretty much simple. You can understand it from the logic itself that you have to make a map in which you have to store this string as well as the count of how many times a particular domain you have visited. Okay, for that you can make a map and that's it. nothing much complicated here. You just have to first, you can say, find out in the particular string what is the count and what all are the different domains here. And then for that, you just have to make a map and then again from the map, you just find out the final answer. Let's go over the code part so that you can make understand of what we have learned as of now. So let us see here. Okay, let's uh, scroll this down a little bit. So I've added. Yeah. So 
what we have done here is let's remove all of this out first yeah so we have to make you can say a map okay that will store a string that is this domain and the number of times we have uh, visited that particular domain so that is stored in np now we'll iterate over all of these cp domains one by one using this for loop. now what we'll do we are given a string in the input you can see here if just uh, if i just move this out just go over you are given this as a string that is this 9000 and the all the domains okay so you have to first take the input of all of that and convert it into this part and the, the other domains part okay so for that i have written down this convert function okay that will just divide this into the integer that is this integer and the string this complete domain like this how you can take it out you can directly just extract out using this space because if there's a space whatever is before that is the number before what is after that is the particular domain now you have all of that that is with you that is stored in this pair that is integer and string now you have the string you will have to edit over all its subdomains and the subdomains are defined by this dot and it is made you can just iterate from right to left not from left to right because these are made from right to left that's it. one is com that is leadcode.com other is discuss.leadcode.com so everything is formed from right to left so you just have to iterate over this string from right to left as you can see again for loop and whenever you find out a dot so let's say we have this string okay discuss.leadcode.com i'm iterating from right, right to left whenever i find out a dot which means that now i have formed a particular subdomain so all the string that is after this dot is one of a particular domain. So I have to make a substring. So whenever I find a dot, iterating over this whole string from right to left, whenever I find a dot, I will make a substring from j plus one. That is after this dot, whatever string is there, I will make a substring out of it. And that is one of the domains. So I will take out that particular domain that is stored in name, put it inside the map. And how many times we have visited it? That is stored in that we have extracted out from the string that is this pair that is in the value what first that is the first value that is uh, how many times it is iterated that is it like extracted out from this particular string so that is how we have got everything out but because they are extracting out in these domains based on this dot i will take out com i will take out leadcode.com but there is no dot before this so there is one string that is already left out for that we have taken this as an Think that when the complete string is done, whatever is the complete domain also that you have to take into account and also append that. Now we have created all of these domains, put their frequencies inside the map. That is all completely done in set MP. Now we have to make a new, you can say a, a vector of strings in which we have to re-append the times every domain is visited and the domain itself and make it a complete string. So we have to iterate over all the entries inside the map. And then what we'll do? We will take out the value like how many times what the domain is visited that is an integer so i have to convert it back to string because i have to make it a complete string so to string convert that particular value into you can say string add a space behind it as you can see here in the output and the domain name okay then this is a new domain you can say a new cp uh you can say count paired domain in which you have uh, again appended the number of times a particular domain is visited and the domain itself and now take that new string and push it inside the answer vector that we have to just return in the end we just return the particular answer that's the overall logic and just uh just to before closing i'll just also show you the code for the convert function and how this convert function is done is that uh, we have given this a string this complete string that has the integer and the complete domain so i'm just iterating over this whole string one by one from left to right whenever i find out an integer i keep on converting it into from string to integer because it's 9001 okay so when i iterating over left to right i whenever i find out an integer value i will keep on converting it into a corresponding integer okay so that we have the final integer whenever i find out a space which means that the integer is finished at that particular point i know that the all the strings after this space is the domain and all the number that we have just computed is the integer so i will return the number and the string and how we can find out the string that is a substring of this complete string from i plus one because i is a space so i plus one till the end that will form a substring from i to i like i plus one till and that is a complete you can say the complete domain 
and the number itself that we were started out from the very starting of the cp domain and just return a pair out of it and that's it we always get it out so we'll just return out this particular thing that's the convert function and that is called here to get out this will return the particular value and the particular complete domain from which we extract out each domain one by one and just keep on appending value with it that's all logic and the code part for this particular problem if you still have any doubts you can mention in the comment box for this particular video i will see you in the next one day coding and bye